hello. I want to talk today about ethics, and particularly the ethics of um, student research, student practicals. I was reading uh, Morag Williamson's article, um, and I thought it was quite brilliant, actually. Um, I had some thoughts I just wanted to sort of throw in, but a bit of philosophy, a bit on law. Um, first thing is to, a, a sort of philosophical point, really, and that's to remember um, that when professional researchers carry out uh, research, they accept that there's a balance between risks to participants and the benefits of the research for, for everyone. Now, as a student, when you're carrying out your first few um, studies, you're honing your craft, you're learning to do research, you're not looking for results that are going to sort of rock the world. And I think the, the implication of that is that you need to be more risk averse than a professional researcher. Uh, take more care than a professional researcher not to upset people uh, in, in particular. That's that's the most serious issue really, is, is, is an upset. Um, now there are some legal implications of this that go along with this. Um, for example, you may well have been in the position, we've all been there I think, um, where you, you come back having carried out say a survey study and one of your friends has said something really daft in response to a question and you come back to class and say, oh, you never guess what that Johnny said. Well, beware. That's not only an unethical practice, sort of sharing that information with your class, but it's illegal under data protection law. Um, similarly, if you f film people without their knowing and analyse them in a kind of observational study, um, or use a webcam uh, in which people you know, haven't given permission to be filmed. That again is an offence under data protection law. So be, be careful about things like that. Um, there's also an issue uh, around safeguarding. Uh, one of the uh, points about the all the codes of ethics is that they're very much about the welfare of participants. But of course your welfare is important as well. Uh, and you've got to remember that, and, and you won't see much about that in those codes of ethics. So do remember, especially if you're ever going off site as, as, as part of research, your teacher needs to know where you are and exactly what you're doing. Um, otherwise, they, they, there's serious implications for them in terms of the, their so, ability to safeguard your welfare. And finally, just remember that research it should be fun. It should be a positive, interesting experience for both you and your participants. You won't always get it right in the planning stages, and that's okay. But what is critical is that if you start um, a study and you realise there's something important you haven't thought of in the ethics, just stop and go back and rethink. Um, making the initial error happens yeah, all the time. Uh, the important thing is to respond to it. Okay, thank you.